Right guys, Gaft is back. No actual trick on this video. Some people wanted to know what got the gaffer into magic. What was my go-to card trick? What do I carry about with me? So we'll start out with what does gaffer carry with him all the time? He carries a regular deck, but it does have a top of the box attached to it. And like I said in previous videos, I always keep the cellophane, open it nicely, so your top of the box gaff or whatever can stay under the cellophane and be completely invisible. And then when you need to use it, it's there. But it's the spectator's never going to notice this on the top until you use it. And this is just a regular deck. Um, it does have magnets in the back as well for certain tricks, but I always carry a top of the box gaff and this deck will have a crimped jack of spades. We all know why gaffer has a crimped jack of spades. I'll always have one of these. You know, you've, if you've got your jeans, you've got that little money pocket or condom pocket, whatever you want to call it. This nut and bolt sits in that pocket. Uh, I've got many of these, some work better than others. This is a really good one. And it's been through the wash a few times because the missus will wash my clothes. Oh shit, me nut and bolt, but it always seems to work. Um, I will have my favorite um, packet trick. Now I will leave a link in description to um, the nest of wallets, this packet trick, this nut and bolt if I've done this, I'm not sure if I've done it. Um, this particular deck, I've, I've looked for it, I can't find it. I have done a trick with this deck, but I just can't find the upload. This is what they call the Stand Up Monty by David Blaine, using four cards. Now, if you want to perform this with a little bit of a kicker at the end, you need six cards. But they're four cards, and two of them are double faces. That is a fantastic little trick, and that goes everywhere with me. Um, this is a gimmicked deck. Um, all the cards are different and they are all on a red back. But I'm not going to go into what this trick is or maybe show this another time, but it is a reverse Svengali deck. I did a particular trick with the reverse, reverse Svengali deck. This is it. So these two decks, this nut and bolt, this packet trick I mean I've got one of these in my work bag if anybody's well no, not a lot of people say show us a trick because they don't know you do them but if I'm going to show somebody something this will be the first thing I show them and you can't see this on this black Mac oh a black close-up mat I want to say a special thank you to somebody because this came in the post today now I'm not going to say a particular name just in case it isn't the right person, but I think you know who you are. If you are the person, you did send me a text message, but I've run out of credit on my phone, boss, so I couldn't reply through text, but I did on a comment. If this is you, I think it probably is. So thank you. Nice one, brother. Oh, I've got a spec on it. The Nest of Wallets. This is a deluxe Nest of Wallets. This is made out of leather. This is a absolute killer trick, and it's not a card trick. It's a coin trick but it's an absolute killer and my dog could literally do this. It's that easy, but that powerful. Um, the Deluxe Nest of Wallets is about 30 English pounds. This was actually a gift to the gaffer about two years ago. Oh God, I should know who sent it, shouldn't I? I do apologize, but if you're watching this video, thank you. Um, oh, did you hear that just go off? Move that, magnets. Oh shit, I'm giving them secrets away. Um, yeah, the, this is about 30 odd pounds. You can buy a PVC plastic one for about a fiver. Works just as well, but it don't look quite so nice, you know. So those are the four things. One, two, three, four, five things I carry everywhere. And I mean everywhere. So we'll put those aside. So it's just my hands. That's no good, is it? Oh, look, and the PK ring. Always take that. And the missus. Always has a go because I never wear my bloody wedding ring. And I just hurt my finger tonight. Look. Anyway, how did I get into magic? Let's, in fact, have a deck of cards. And we'll just spread them like that. That looks better, doesn't it? In fact, I'll probably just fiddle about with them. Um, I got into card magic about nine years ago. 
but before then in the mid to late 90s there is a cigarette trick when you can hold a cigarette or something like this and you can make it vanish behind your finger and then make it reappear i used to do that in all the clubs bars pubs i used to go in when people were a little bit inebriated on whatever that went down really well so that was my first sort of um, step into magic but I then fell into snowboarding for a while, so that took most of my time, forgot about magic, and then about nine years ago, went to a New Year's Eve party. I did know a couple of tricks, you know the trick when you got seven cards, although the seven cards are this way round. And then you have another row of seven, and you say, point out what row your card's in, and you know, process a deal, and you know what their card is. Real basic, self-working stuff. And a couple of other tricks on you. So I showed the kids at the at the New Year's Eve party. They really enjoyed it. They said, show us some more. And I didn't know any more. I only knew about three tricks. So then I thought, I'll have a look, quick look on YouTube. Found Miss Mag's channel. We've all watched Miss Mag, haven't we? Learned a few tricks from there. And the rest is history. So it's been about nine years. Um, I love gimmick card tricks. I'm more into gimmicks and gaffs than I am. Um, sort of techniques into card magic because I can't even do a pass very well. I've never done a pass in my life in the real world. I'm not into fancy flourishes, fancy cuts, fancy moves. I do basic, put your card in, double undercut it to the top. You know, I'm, I'm not into anything fancy. I haven't got the dexterity in my fingers. I did actually break this one so it hasn't got the mobility in it it needs. And the time it takes, I just haven't got the time. So I went down the gaff and the gimmick route and it worked beautifully for me. Somebody said, what was your best experience, gaffer? Now we all know I've got a jack of spades tattoo here and every pack I own has a crimp jack of spades so I can always cut this to the bottom. Now I'm sure we've all got a spectator. I know Blake has got a certain spectator. I've got one, his name's Rich. If you say, Rich, take a card, he'll take a card. Right, remember this card and I'll put it back somewhere in the pack and he'll instantly want it to shuffle. You know, one of those that's real great on you. So we were on holiday about four or three, three years ago. He knows about, about a little bit of gimmicks and stuff. And we were sat next to another family. They were playing cards. Rich went over to him and said, look, let this guy show you a magic trick and let me use your cards. Fair enough, so I got this, the people, the family, I said, can you give the cards a shuffle? Now I'm gonna do something now, which they did not do. But when they'd finished shuffling the cards, I took the cards back, I did a little peek, we all know about the little peek, and lo and behold, guess what was on the bottom? My Jack of Spades. So I didn't touch the deck, I just picked them up, had a quick peek, and then I Hindu force, call out stop for me, Remember this card, put the pack down and then I went to, you know, is there any way I could, um, I could take a guess at what your card is. There's 52 cards in the deck. I've got one in 52 chance of being right, but could I predict it? And they're like, no chance. So uh, um, what about if I've got your card tattooed on my wrist? Now they shuffled the cards. It was just complete fluke. So that Jack was on the bottom and not even Rich knew what to say. He was like, what? Their heads literally popped. Now I've got to probably say that was my best, best reaction because it was as clean as it could be. I didn't even touch the cards. All I did was force the bottom card, which they'd shuffle to the bottom. So that was a fantastic holiday about three or four years ago. Um, magic wise, I love watching David Blaine. I love watching Dynamo. Um, purely because it's the only stuff on TV. You got Penn and Teller, which is occasionally on British TV, you can find it on YouTube. But I do love David Blaine and I love Dynapo. I know a lot of their stuff is staged stuff, but not it's not all staged. They do know what they're doing. They have got some good content, but a lot of it is sort of staged, we know that. Um, like I said, I got into it through Miss Mag's channel. I then found people like, um, the Russian genius. Now I love that guy, but I can't do any of the stuff he does. So I stopped watching him after a while because it was just pointless. I just could not do any of it. But that guy's got some slick hands, man. Um, 
I do apologize for not watching, commenting or liking a lot of my subscribers who have their own magic channels. Finding the time to watch them all guys, it's practically impossible. Um, in all honesty, I don't actually get that much time to look on YouTube. When I'm commenting on comments, um, I can look at my channel, but I haven't got much credit on my phone or not credit. I haven't got a lot of data. I've only got about two gig of data. I don't need it, so I can't watch video. I can't watch it when I get home. There's other stuff going on. But um, I do appreciate all you guys that still watch me, still like my channel, still comment on my channel. I have some lovely emails off a lot of people. And I get gifts like this beautiful black card mat. And um, what else is there to say? Oh, I did have an experience um, November. I was on site. There were some two brothers from Birmingham that love magic. They'd never seen anything close up and just some of the stuff I did blew them away. So on their last day, I went in and I did three torn and restored card effects, one after another with the same deck. I had it already set up. So I did rip the, you fold and rip the corner off and then the corners restored. I did when you rip the card in four, you place it on the top of the box and with the, uh, on the top of the deck. And then with a little wave of the box, the card is restored. You know what's going on here, don't you? And there's a trick called Face Off by Ron Salamanco, is it? Something like that. When you, you get somebody to sign two cards, top and bottom top and bottom and then you rip the cards up and these cards are attached very good card trick so those three tricks i did one after the other with the same packet because it was already set up and honest to god their heads popped so that was a great experience my biggest gig can i even call it a gig do i do gigs no i don't do gigs but there were some polish guys a few years ago they've got a site round by us they've got a uh, caravan they come in there in the picking season to pick got friendly with a few of them he said come back to my trailer and show my mates some of your card tricks so i went back and his bloody caravan was packed there was probably about 15 of them in there i'm thinking holy crap um, i probably did about 10 or 15 card tricks and luckily for me not one cocked up because you know i'm regular at cocking up stuff aren't i what else is there that's about it i'm not a professional by any means i am just a hobbyist um, you guys have sent me some videos in the past and in all honesty a lot of you guys are a lot better than I am. All I've got is a bit of a YouTube channel with maybe a few more views but it doesn't mean I'm any better because I'm certainly not. Uh, big shout out to Cardmatch Tutorials, Trinity, Robert Ball Magician, The Great Wu Ding, um, Grey Magic TV, The Anonymous Magician. I'm thinking now, a lot of you guys watch my stuff, but you haven't got a channel. I want to give a big shout out to Blakey. Blakey's a long time suffering subscriber with a bit of a dodgy friend. Um, Nick Z all the way in Taiwan. Love you, Nick Z. We've got um, Joseph Rasek, big hands. I mean, this guy's hands are so big, man. This deck would look like one of those mini decks. Massive hands he's got. I bet he can do some good sleight of hand with his hands. Um, who else have we got? Oh, there's so many of you. I do apologise for not mentioning your name. Uh, Tony Dobbs. Yeah, Tony Dobbs. Do us a top of the box gaff gaffer. Yeah, no problem, Tony. About three months ago. Just email me, kid. That's all you got to do. Um, who else? Oh, I can't think. But I just want to thank every last one of you. Um, it's you guys that this is the reason why I keep uploading. I shall keep uploading until the content runs out. That will probably be about middle of February. <laughs> I'm joking. So that's the gaffer. I'm just a normal dude who likes doing card tricks. And uh, that's it. So comment, subscribe, like guys. And we'll see you tomorrow for another card trick. Cheers.